Hello, if you are an oldie but goldie, you know the drill, come on in, sit down, relax, brace yourself or potentially the best video you've ever watched on the internet, such lols. If you are new, hello to you, my name is Louise Pentland, I make videos about motherhood and lifestyle as well as many other fabulous things that I do like writing books and uh, you know, that, that's it. <laughs> Today I am really excited to share with you Pearl's three to six month update video and I'm super excited because we have a wonderful partnership today and that is with Pampers. Pampers are a brand that I have loved and have been using for well over seven years. I used Pampers nappies on my first little girl Darcy who is seven now, she's not in Pampers, she's at school uh, but I used them on her and now I use them on my little baby Pearl. The new Pampers premium protection are the softest nappy yet and the only newborn nappy to actually be recommended by the British Skin Foundation. The unique absorbent top sheet is so 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 soft and it's the only top sheet that has little holes in it that helps draw away that you know newborn runny poopsie spread it out away from their skin and just keeps them so much more comfortable for so much longer. If you've been watching my weekly videos for a while, you will know that Pearl is all about everything soft. She has a little blanket that she holds all the time because she loves to like feel that softness in her hands. She recently was given a big fluffy cat cuddly toy, it's actually a Crookshanks from Harry Potter toy, and she loves to hold it and rub her little face on it. So good! Do you love your Crookshanks? Yeah. Or you rub your little face on him. On it. She loves stroking the cats when she gets a chance to get near them because they run away from her and she loves the feel of that. So I am really glad to see such a soft nappy on the market. I know you will be too and you'll know you'll be even more glad to know that Sainsbury's has a special offer on at the moment for £7 for a jumbo pack. I'll leave that link below and I know if you're anything like me you'll be like yes an offer because who doesn't love an offer on nappies? I don't know anyone, I know I do because that is the woman I am these days and to tell you more about the other woman and who she is these days, it was not a smooth transition, I'm going to tell you all about Pearl and how she's getting on. So Pearl is seven months old now and while she was three to six months her sleep was pretty much the same as it is now. There haven't been any major changes, she started sleeping through the night and by through the night I mean from like seven till about five. I would really like her to sleep till six or seven but we're not there yet. Um, but she's still going down just after seven. She has a bottle of milk at about between half six and seven and then we like do the wind down routine and just chill out um, and you know not be too entertaining and like you know super playful with her. Um, put her in her pyjamas and we just lay her down still awake. I don't let her fall asleep on the bottle. I think she's done it about twice, she's just not really that kid that falls asleep while she's feeding. Um, and lay her down in her cot, she's still sleeping in here. I know that the recommendation are babies definitely up to six months to stay in the same room. I don't feel quite ready to move her out of our room yet, I really like having her nearby. Uh, plus it's convenient because she wakes up at like five o'clock in the morning um, and she sort of grizzles a bit and she wants to have the dummy put back in her mouth so we go and do that and then she'll sort of have 10 more minutes and up and down, up and down. So by about half five, we just put her in bed with us and I'm usually awake then. I kind of play with her and come to, like she's already fully awake and I'm like, give me a moment, I'm waking up. Um, and then we start the day. Morning to you, my little comfy cool dude. And even though she sleeps a solid 10 hours through the night, she always wakes up dry in her pampers. She is always comfortable. We don't have any leaks. We don't have any nappy rash. She's a very, very happy baby. And I couldn't resist this next clip that I found of her one morning. <laughs> it's daddy funny. What are you doing? <laughs> she likes it. <laughs> Is that funny? She loved that little tickle. Is that so funny? In terms of naps, we are having less naps now. I would like to be having more naps, uh, but she's having less. So, not to three, we were having sort of two or three a day. Now I get a good one in the morning with her. By about nine ish, she is ready for a sleep. And she'll sleep for an hour, sometimes two hours, which is amazing, till about 11. 
and then at about sort of half two three she might doze for half an hour if we're on a walk or if she's in the car um, or I could put her down but she will only sleep for about half an hour then and that's basically it then we just go through till seven for bedtime. So speaking of falling asleep in the car or in the buggy, we are still loving the Duna car seat. I cannot recommend it highly enough. To me, that is our like number one baby gadget, if you could call it a gadget. It's a car seat that also has wheels attached to it. So you can flip the wheels out, pull out the handle and it turns into like a very small buggy. It doesn't have um, any storage on it and you, you it's not like um, a normal push chair that becomes like your workhorse for the day. Uh, but it's so handy if you're doing the school run or if you're just nipping into the shops um, or if you're just popping to see a friend and you don't want to like transfer her, especially if she's asleep. It means we can get out the car and get on the go while she's still asleep. We're still using the Silver Cross Pioneer in vintage pink. I love it so much. The basket is amazing. Um, and we also, during the three to six month period, used the, oh, I want to say Ariva, but I think it's like a Viva or Avia. I will link it below for you. Um, we use that on holiday a lot. We've been away with her during her three to six month period. We went to Nice, which is in France. It was very nice. Hehe, <laughs> see what I did there? Uh, we flew and it was a two hour flight and I'll be honest with you, flying with a four month old was not that fun. How would we describe it? I don't want to say hard work, but... <laughs> demanding, that's a good word for it, demanding. We've had poop, we've had sick, we've had a bit of crying, we've had dummy fall on the floor. We're landing now. It wasn't terrible, it wasn't awful, but it was just really hard work. You know you usually get on a plane, you read your book, you relax, you like think of your destination, maybe have a snack, a chat to your partner. Not with a four month old baby, you don't. It's just kind of, you've just got to get through it. Um, and that was definitely, definitely a wake up call because with Darcy, I didn't fly with her till she was two and a half. So I'm definitely learning as I go. Um, holidays with her, we've had two. So we've had the Nice and the Grand Canaria one. Um, the Grand Canaria flight was longer, but a bit better actually, I think, because by then she was about five months, so it was, it was a bit easier, and maybe she was used to it by then. Pearl has not loved the heat on holidays. She likes, um, she liked the pool, she loved splashing about in that, um, and she likes being pushed around in her push chairs a lot, but if she's too hot, she is grumpy, and I can understand that, because if I'm hot, I'm a grumpy person too, so... Summer is not her favourite thing. She was born January 14th, so I always say she's a winter baby, she can't help it. Um, but yeah, she's had two little holidays, which I think is good going for a baby of her age. And for the most part, apart from the heat, she really enjoyed both of those. Since I would say about two months old, Pearl has been teething, but we still don't have any teeth. Even now, we're at like the seven month mark, but I'm trying not to give any spoilers. <laughs> like, spoilers on the baby. Um, she is teething and we have been using teether powder from Boots and Bongella and sometimes Calpol. Um, she gnaws on her hand a lot, like numbs on it a lot, that's when I know, and her cheeks go red. Um, so we've just been keeping an eye on that and then as and when, sort of helping her through with those extras. Food wise, we started weaning her actually just before six months. So about five months, I could, well, from about four and a half months, I could tell that she was like looking at my food a lot, looking when we were eating, uh, reaching out to grab it. So at about five months, I think it was, we started her on a little bit of food and we bought the Annabelle Carmel, I, I think, books. We bought uh, the basic one about weaning and the 100 tips, uh, not tips, recipes. We bought a Nutribullet and then loads of like little, um, they're like ice cube trays, but the ice cube like size is much bigger. Um, and we went through that and used those recipes. And we're doing now a mixture. So by the time she got to about six months, we're doing a mixture of pureed and um, baby led weaning, which is where they kind of like hold food and try it themselves. And it seems to be working really well. She's really keen on food. It's been really fun trying her with new flavors of things. Um, I'm going to put a little clip of when she tried broccoli for the first time and was not that thrilled about it. Should we try? Oh. oh, is it not for you, my sweet? You don't like it. Should we try again? <laughs> Just try a little bit. This bit. Is that nice? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> is it not for you? During that time, she also nailed rolling. She could go backwards and forwards and sitting up, she wasn't quite doing, she would sit up for like a couple of minutes and then be like, hey, and just fall backwards. So you couldn't like leave her to sit up because she would fall, but she was really trying for it. She was also trying to crawl. So she was having a lot of tummy time and like pushing herself up on her hands, but hadn't quite worked out how to get like her knees right underneath her. Those things I think are like the, like, basic building blocks of like babyhood, like what they can physically do, how they sleep, how they eat. I thought I would tell you some of the things that Pearl absolutely loves. She loves the cats the most. We have three cats and when they come by, she like gets so excited, she like flails her arms and her legs and tries to reach out for them. A couple of them, so Milky and, not Milky, Milky's not the one, Orbit and Rocket will let her stroke them and she loves it. She gets so excited, her hands almost shake. You know how I said she loves soft things? I think she loves like the velvety soft feel of the cat. She loves them so much. She has a garage toy that she loves. Whenever the car like pops out of the bottom, she squeals with laughter. She... <laughs> Is that funny? It loves musical toys, she loves it when I dance for her, she loves her little Tommy um, plastic eggs, they come in a yellow box and she absolutely loves those. She just loves to play really, she likes, um, she has a bouncer, her jumperoo, Fisher Price bouncer, she loves being that, she's like the happiest, smiliest baby you'll ever meet. I think those are the main things that I always want to hear about, but if there's anything else you want to hear about, for Pearl that age, let me know. And also I'll soon be doing her six to nine month, which just seems crazy because it feels like two minutes ago that she was born. Um, and I might do kind of a six month postpartum video for me, or maybe I'll wait till like nine or 12 months. I don't know. Let me know what you would like. I would like to say thank you so much to Pampers Premium Protection for your super soft nappies. And thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it and I hope that you, the audience, have enjoyed this too and all the pearl cuteness. I mean, how could you not? Do leave anything in the comments that you would like to see in the next update or just any questions and I'll do my best to answer them. This is me, this is me answering them and I will see you on Sunday for another excellent video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!